Hey guys, Block Decentral here, and I am back with some Dissolution. This is a first-person shooter game on Steam that will eventually be running on the engine platform. So we're not going to waste any time, we're going to hop right into it. Alright, so we're going to begin by creating a server and hopping into the game. You can have up to 32 players per server. Currently, they have two different levels with two different game modes that you can choose between. You have SS Lucinity and the second map, as well as Assault and another game mode. I believe the second one is person versus person directly, and there haven't been enough active players yet to try that one out. So I've been sticking to Assault, which is against AI drones. Now, you can also choose the amount of drones that you want to have against yourself, so each person can have between like 1 and 20 drones against them, which can make this game quite challenging if you have, say, 10 drones per player and eight players playing making around you know 70 80 drones flying around the map bombing you blasting you and killing you without any warning making this quite the uh, challenge there's a lot to come to this game there's a lot being developed at the moment there's a few bug fixes and a lot going on they have a zombie mode that they plan on releasing within the next week or so uh, their final plan for this game is to be an open uh, sandbox MMO space game. So right now it's just uh, you know primarily first person shooter in this massive ship. However, it is very detailed. Everything looks great. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is super fun already, and there's a lot that you can do. As you can see, I have the spacesuit on here, and I am able to fly around the entire map, uh, going in any which way and direction, shooting the drones. Uh, kind of on a more even playing field considering now that we are both flying and can uh, pretty much go anywhere in the map. Now as I mentioned earlier this game is going to be integrating the engine platform so we will be seeing non-fungible tokens sometime down the line. They plan on having a sale or pre-sale for the non-fungible tokens in Q4 of this year so at the end of 2019 after the alpha is officially uh, finished and the you know release is close at hand and uh, besides that they have a lot of other features going on as well so they plan on eventually becoming part of the multiverse so we could eventually see a multiverse founders token for this game as well as a bunch of in-game items that can be transferred between this title and a bunch of other titles on the engine platform so that's very exciting to see they also have a bunch of in-game items that you can earn both in the game and in the shop so when you're playing you have the backpacks that contain the spacesuits you also have weapons and med kits and a bunch of different factors of that uh, you can go on the shop when you're in the main menu and actually spend your in-game credits on different weapons for your loadouts, different weapons, armors, uh, different uh, you know sidearms and things like that. It's currently closed at the moment. It's in development because, as I said, this is in very early alpha access. However, it is one of the things that they are focused heavily on, so it should be up hopefully within the next few weeks. Now, besides the zombies launch, they are planning a bunch of other features down the line, such as the space combat and the uh, spaceship combat. So we'll be getting ships that we can, you know, undock from and go and fly around the universe, have battles and collect loot in space as well. So that's going to be very exciting. However, right now they are primarily focusing, as you can see, on the first person shooter side of things. And I am very much OK with that. This game has been in development for the past nine months or so, and they've been staying pretty much hidden this entire time. They've been trying to focus more on content first, profit second, which I really appreciate. There's not enough crypto games out there that are focusing on the actual gameplay and the fun side of it other than the profits and the digital assets and tokens. Not that that side's not very important. However, for games like this, uh, we definitely want fun as well as profitability. As well as the fact that there's very little first-person shooter games running on blockchain technology. There's this, there's Warfield, which is pretty much completely shut down, as well as Containment Corps, which is the other one running on Engine. So there's, you know, some small little hints of games coming out, but really nothing solid. And this is one of the best-looking crypto games that I have seen by far. Now, I've seen a few other really good ones, like Nine Lives Arena and Space Misfits, but uh, nothing really to this level of detail and uh, really just in-depth quality. It's, uh, you know, all the little details in here from the items and chests that you can pick up and go and loot in to the gun details and the drones. Uh, they plan on adding a bunch more detail to the drones as well down the line, such as, like, wires and uh, parts breaking off and... Uh, just more detailed explosions, seeing parts go flying everywhere, and 
just making this game look more visually stunning. As far as digital assets go for the game, they're obviously planning not to make anything that is going to be, you know, pay to win since this is a first person shooter, so there's not going to be any exclusive guns or assets that are going to make a game changing difference. Uh, I'm assuming it's mostly going to be skins and cosmetics, things like that. But uh, I can't really say for certain. Now they do have plans down the line to join the multiverse. So I would assume a multiverse founders token would be in order. As well as some sort of assets that are going to be transferable between this game and whatever other projects they decide to partner with. So that'll be really exciting. Now this game still is an early alpha access. So there are still quite a few bugs that need to be worked out. And it is still quite rough of a game. However, that is why we are giving out Steam keys to anyone that is interested so that way they can try out the game and provide feedback so that way the developers can improve on it and make this game as great as it you know, possibly can. They are currently working on the bugs and updates and fixes and things like that on the problems such as quitting out and sending you back to the main menu when you try to log in as well as the zero G suit bug and a bunch of other updates as well as the zombie mode that's coming in the next week or two that's very high up on their list of plans as well as a future map of just zero g so that way players can fly around the room fighting against the drones as well as other players in the pvp mode so that's all very exciting now they are a very small team about four people i believe and only one of them is a true programmer so it might take them a little while to make this game uh, you know fully updated and make all these features come true however they are very dedicated to the cause and to this game so i expect it to come sometime relatively soon right now for such an early access game they do have quite a bit of content there's not too too much as far as game modes and maps but the assault mode which is against the drones here provides quite a bit of challenge alone if you're going against multiple drones, it definitely provides a serious challenge. As you can see, I'm doing half decent being able to kill off a few of them, but if you have like five, six of them with limited ammo, uh, it's definitely going to be a tough fight. And then if you have any bombers that come up, they just fly right into you, take away more than half your health, and then you have to run around looking for a med pack. Uh, you don't slowly recover health over time. Uh, you don't have unlimited ammo, so you have to be searching everywhere for items that you can collect. Meanwhile, trying to go to the waypoints and activate them, while at the same time watching out for the drones, shooting them down, trying not to die, and uh, trying to win the match. As you can see, we just currently won. So I believe we collected all the waypoints or we killed enough drones. As you can see, the drone number at the top is zero. There's a limited amount of times that your team can die or drones that you need to kill to either win or if you collect all the waypoints. I'm not sure exactly if I did. This here is the second of the two maps. I don't remember the name of it. However, I do know that it starts with an R. So there's that at least. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, this one is open in the, uh, you know, some sort of planet or surface. Uh, you look up there is space above but you're not in an enclosed area so there's no zero g suit it's just a massive open area with a bunch of drones hiding every which way and uh yeah some more waypoints that you have to go and collect and this map is quite the challenge but as you can see it's very very detailed both maps have a lot of uh you know little details in them and they really focus on the actual graphics and quality and I gotta say, I really appreciate that. There's not enough good-looking crypto games out there. Uh, you know, when I think of a cryptocurrency game or, you know, some type of a title that is running on the blockchain, I think of Crypto Kitties, I think of Mytherium or Chibi Fighters, those type of, you know, still image, click button to, you know, do something games. And I don't really think of first-person shooters. There's very few on here, and that is something that I am hoping to be seeing a huge change of in the upcoming, you know, months or Hopefully, uh, you know, within the next upcoming years, uh, we should be seeing a huge jump in, uh, you know, space shooters and first person shooters and just uh, AAA type titles. As this game continues to develop, obviously the graphics are going to get better. Uh, the detail in everything is going to continue to get even better than it already is, even though it's already fantastic. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually able to take on a few drones after a little bit of gameplay. So once you figure out, you know, mouse and keyboard combat and uh, you know, playing first-person shooters on the PC, it becomes slightly easier than uh, when you first begin, but as everything, once you actually get some experience, it becomes, uh, you know, a bit easier. You can set the specific amount of drones that can be in the map at one point, uh, depending on the amount of players that are in the game. So as you continue to kill them off, they will keep respawning until the amount you need to kill reaches zero, or you collect all the waypoints. 
So that's pretty much it for Dissolution at the moment. I'll definitely be back with a bunch more gameplay and updates down the line. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page as well as the social medias for Dissolution. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. So, peace out.